Welcome to another episode of me in real life trying to be cooler than I am. In today's episode, I'm dressed like Diedrich Galasso or Deeds, and I guarantee you that my girlfriend is judging me for going out in public dressed like this. But today we're gonna be talking about Deeds board setup, and I thought maybe it'd be like a little thematic to, I don't know, like dress like him? Set up a board like him? Just like try and be Deeds for a day. I don't know, leave it in the comments below if you think it's stupid. Probably is. I recently acquired this Deeds Pro Model shape. I am gonna be testing it out, so if you wanna see me actually like skate it and give my thoughts, on the shape after I've actually skated it. Stick around to the end of the video. But first I wanna get into like some of the interesting things about this shape. You can see it's kind of a weird looking shape. So they say that this shape is an 8375, but I did a little research and in the middle it's like nine inches wide, but then it like tapers big time on the front and the back. So like the benefits of this deed says is it makes the board faster. The board is like kind of faster. I think what he means by that is like the flick. So imagine you've got a nine inch board, but it's got this really skinny nose. Because the nose is a lot skinnier, in order to flick off the corner, your flick ends up coming off the nose a lot closer to the middle of the board. But also it's like real hefty in the center. I'm not like a physics genius or anything, but I think with a big anchor point back here and then flicking closer to the center of the nose up here, I think that's basically gonna force you to like kick flip really proper. The other thing that he says is that this tail scoops really good like for me it's like it's like the pop is quicker and like it's so good to scoop again with a lot of the weight put into the center of the board and the nose and the tail being a lot skinnier I'm just interested to see like if that has any impact on my ability to like maneuver the board one more unique thing about Deed's setup is that he skates deck rails I've never skated deck rails to me they kind of seem stupid but I'm already dressed up like a wish app version of Deed's a little tight hoodie and dad basketball shorts regardless we're gonna put these deck rails on the board and if you see in all Deed's video parts he does like a squiggly line in the center of his grip. So yeah, I'm trying to be the Wish App version of Deeds today. I don't know how I feel about it, but I've committed to it. So let's set up the board real quick and see if this fat board with a skinny nose and a skinny tail does anything to like tray flips, kick flips. I don't know, I feel like I'm always looking for that magic thing that's gonna make me better and it never comes. All right, let's set this thing up. All right, I think the first thing we're gonna do it's just grip it because I'm not looking forward to doing those rails. You know, I just always hear people's rails rattling at the skate park and I feel like it is the most annoying thing. And I know this is my first time. I'm probably going to mess it up and I'm probably going to hate that noise and hate myself for doing it. But oh, It's probably going to turn out so bad. Okay, so the grip is done. I mean, it's squiggly, but it really looks stupid. Maybe his just doesn't look stupid because he's in the middle of doing like actually a hard trick, but um, mine just came out really dumb. Anyways, now we're moving on to the rails, which I've never done before. So I just personally feel like putting these screws in your board is a bad idea. I just don't see how that's good for like the longevity of the board. Like I feel like it would just create like structural issues, but a lot of people do these things, including our boy Deeds and I mean, basketball shorts, beanie, hoodie, literally trying to recreate deeds today. So let's throw these on. All right, quick update. I got these on, but uh, they are definitely like for sure not even. Like one is closer to the edge than the other. These ones are like too close to the back wheels. Can't believe people voluntarily do this every single time. All right, so definitely one of the longest board setups of my life, putting these stupid deck rails on. Before we head to the skate park and test this out, I just wanna give you a quick update of what I'm riding right now. So these are like rad rails, I think they are. Then we've got the Enjoy Deeds Pro Model Custom Shape, Thunder Raw 149, Standard Thunder Bushings, Formula 4 Tablets, Bronson G3 Bearings, and then Shake Jump Hardware. Oh, and Mob Grip. I feel like when you look down on it, you can like get a good idea of how just weird this shape is. Okay, let's do the first kickflip test. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this board is definitely going to take some getting used to, but let's head to the park. I'm hopeful that like cruising around on it will kind of give me a better feeling of it and uh, kind of just naturally get me used to it. So let's go test it out. All right, here's the shape of the board. Oh. 
It feels scary how narrow it is. So far these things aren't making any noise, that's good. Oh. It feels so strange having it be so thick in the middle. I've noticed that the kicks are kind of steep too. Oh my gosh. Oh. First, rocked a fakey on the rails, felt weird. Gosh, this board feels so crazy. Now let's try a kick flip. Oh, this nose is like so skinny that you need to like really flick straight forward. And yeah, that one, it felt like I just missed the nose. Man, the wheelbase plus the just like the shape of it. And it feels like I'm riding completely different trucks and wheels. The board is quite a bit longer than I'm used to, so I'm having to like really widen everything out to actually catch the nose. I feel like this is just exposing how much I flick off to the side with my kick flips. Flick straight forward. Just that into the Euro, come on. A little bit better. It's really strange having to flip my board back around again after skating twin tails for so long. All right, just one good kick flip. This is the one. Let's switch to some tripod. So it's time to test out these deck rails. Super nervous, I'm just gonna like slide out on my back, but gonna really focus on leaning forward. Should be okay. The fact that I stuck with deck rails, like got on and jumped off because I'm like super confident in myself. So far, I don't mind the width of the board. It's just the skinny nose and tail. I really don't like it. Like, I don't know if I'm skating a skinny board or a wide board. Like, I guess some people would like that, but so far for me, I've had like a few close calls where I'm just putting the pressure down on the wrong spot because of the shape of the board is not what I'm used to. The thing that I'm most skeptical of is skating this board on the ledge. So let's try and do maybe like five ledge tricks. See how that feels with this board. Gotta be honest, I started out the session really skeptical of this board, was not enjoying skating it. And then as soon as I started skating the Euro, it was like the board like kicked on or something, like something about the rails or the weight of it or something. Like I did the backside flip first try, did three big spins in a row before getting one that I like, and then did a tray flip. And that's, those are kind of like my three end of the session tricks to make sure I'm getting those locked in. For whatever reason, this board just started feeling good. At the beginning of the session, I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna take the trucks off this board, never skate it again.
again. But now at this point, I'm like, maybe there's something to this. As far as the rails go though, I don't know what to say about those. I mean, I only did one board slide, so I might have to do like a slappy video and really test out the rails. But like, I was really skeptical of it, even skating the ledge, but like it locked into the crook really good. I mean, the only thing that really has bothered me about it is because it's skinny on the ends and then fat in the middle, sometimes like I'll go to power slide and the leverage is different. So I'll like power slide way better, which is really spooky. Like you obviously don't want to power slide more than you're planning to. So, and then besides that, just flicking off the nose feels really awkward to me. I prefer like a wider nose, but I mean, in the end, like you can get used to anything. And I do think that skating this skinnier nose will help me to flick more off the front of the board, which is going to help my kickflip. So I'm really curious to see, you know, over the long term, if I do decide to keep skating this board, I don't know. It's just like a really surprising starting the session thinking like, oh, this board sucks. I hate this. It's like being really down about it. And then ending the session being like, whoa, like I feel like this board is like kind of clicking at the end. So I don't know. That's pretty crazy. Also, uh, I need you to rate my drip. It's been a weird video with the whole dressing up thing. I don't know how I feel about it. Part of me is like, I shouldn't care what people think. And so I don't even know if I like this, but I'm just doing it to make sure that I know that I don't care what other people think, which in a roundabout way proves that I do care about what other people think. Anyways, it's, it's a whole thing, but like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, make every single day a Friday and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.